Welcome to step four. At this point, you should have your outputs and your activities grouped into your strategies. And now in this step, we're gonna to start to talk about outcomes. Outcomes are actually really important for a lot of reasons. We're going to focus in on this more later on in the workshop when we're talking about messaging. However, outcomes tend to be associated with your strategies. Each strategy should have one outcome at a minimum. However, strategies can contribute to multiple outcomes. So don't be worried if you see that as a case in your particular work. So we're gonna walk you through this step-by-step step, how to start to create the outcomes for your logic model. So an outcome is really the impact of your work. In other words, this is how your work changes the communities or the people or constituents that you serve. It's not necessarily, but it can be a quantitative measurement. Whereas outputs tend to almost always be quantitative, outcomes can be qualitative in nature also, meaning these can be based on case studies or narrative-based changes, and that's okay. The other reason why outcomes are important is that when we talk about outcomes, we're really gonna start to think about communications and messaging. When we talk later about messaging, it's important to remember that outcomes are ultimately what tells the story or tells your impact story. It's not necessarily your outputs that tell the story. So for instance, think about Full Circle Fund trying to recruit more members in a membership drive. If you're using outputs to tell the story, they might say something like, we doubled membership this year. That's not a very compelling message. But by using outcomes to tell the story, you could say something like, this year, 95% of our members reported that being a part of the Full Circle Fund membership facilitated meaningful connections with a broad network of Bay Area changemakers. So you can see how the second message feels a lot more compelling because if I'm a prospective member, I'm motivated to be part of a great community of people like me. This outcome-based messaging proves that if I join, I'm gonna have meaningful connections too. So outcomes really can be important in terms of communicating impact and can be a great way to leverage your constituency's motivations. I wanna take a second to think about how outputs and outcomes are different. Outputs, as I mentioned in the last section, are directly related to your organizational activities. So for example, you could say something like, an output would be five community events held this year. On the other hand, and I mentioned this a little bit before, outcomes are the impact that you have on your community or the individuals that you serve. So for instance, Full Circle Fund members report having a large and more diverse professional network. That is an outcome because it is direct impact on the community or the individuals that Full Circle Fund serves. When we look at this in our logic model, you can see that outcomes are closer down towards the bottom. And every outcome, as I mentioned at the outset here, is associated with a strategy. Some strategies do contribute to multiple outcomes, and that is okay. When we look at this on our example, organizational example spreadsheet, it's down closer to the bottom, and you can start to see again how each strategy contributes to a particular outcome. So the steps for this particular activity is for each strategy, write an outcome of the work that is performed in that particular strategy. Focus on the impact that that strategy has on the community or individuals that you serve. Remember, as we're talking about how outcomes are different, we really wanna focus in on the impact that that work or that strategy has on the community or individual that you serve.